Hello traders, Gary Wagner here, approximately 9.30 in Honolulu, 3.30 in New York. It is Friday, happy Aloha Friday as we say on the islands, 30th day of the month, 2015, and this is uh, the daily report for gold and silver, our weekend review. Traders, there's absolutely no doubt this has been a tough week for gold prices as we have seen it drift from the high to the low on the week, approximately $40. We'll look at that in a second. First to today's moves, 11.41, 11.42 in that area. Low 39, so just a couple dollars off the low. High 11.50 on the day. So when we look at a weekly chart, and we're doing that right now, you can see that on the high, gold traded to 11.81 and 11.41 on the low, closing very much near the lows, just a couple dollars off there. And relatively speaking from where it opened, which is roughly at 1161, to its current area around 1141, we have seen gold prices drop roughly $20 on the week, $40 lower from the high of the week. So not only have we seen gold close off by about $20 this week, we are also getting some technical indications that the strength of this current bearish downtrend, if anything, has accelerated towards the end of the week. And the technical studies that I'm citing that are giving us some strong evidence of that fact is a daily chart. On this daily chart, it is in Japanese average format. And when we look at the days itself, you can see that over these last couple of trading days, look at how the body size has dramatically increased on these last couple of days, first of all. Secondly, there is a absence of upper wicks, which means that it opened and never traded above the midpoint of the prior candle. And there is strong size to that. And then lastly, I believe, very, very important is our moving average that we're looking at. Now, this is a 34 day moving average, so it's short term, but you can see that we have absolutely at this point moved below that. So, in terms of what we're looking at now, we could see some weakness in the market on the onset of next week. And what we really want to look at are strategic levels that we should find support. And then we'll look at resistance also in terms of where the current price of gold is in relationship to those markers or areas. To look at our current levels of support and resistance, of course, support is the most important out of this equation. I've brought up a half a day chart, 720 minute chart. On there, I've got a couple of FIB retracements, but the primary retracement that we absolutely want to look at really begins at around 1080. This is what mid August when we saw this market pretty much bottom after coming off a low of 1171 up to these highs at approximately 1192. Now, we know that we're in some sort of a correction. There's no doubt about that. And I had looked originally at the real potential of about 1146, this area holding. That, of course, is a 28 percent retracement of this move. However, we broke through there and broke through hard. The next real level has got to be 1135 and that's the halfway mark. That's a 50 percent retracement and we have gone very, very close, 39 being the low. And so I would look for some sort of potential support and a conclusion to this correction midweek towards the end of next week, but really price point specific. Let's see if the market will actually go and test 1135, 1134 in that area. So traders, before we look in detail at this chart in terms of our current Elliott wave count and FIB retracement levels, I really want to point out something and that is we are absolutely in a corrective phase. We have seen this market sell off from a high of 1190 down to 1140. So a significant drop in the market. However, when we step back, and this is really important to do, this is where I believe we reached a historical and really a potential record bottom. In other words, from the drop of 1900 plus historical top in gold, to a meandering price that goes lower, this is the lowest price that it reached. I believe that that is a cycle low. Now, 
To actually confirm that, we're going to have to see a couple of things fall in place. And we are beginning to see the first indications of that. First of all, we have this market trade to a low call at 1180. It then comes in and makes a top at roughly 1160, 1161. So we get our first low and our high when we look at it. Now, when the market comes back down, it does make a higher low. That's right in here. And that's coming in roughly at 1100 so absolutely no doubt we came in and made a higher low however we missed any kind of a higher high on the next little rally so we had kind of an inside trading point but lo and behold on this last subsequent rally we've now seen the market trade to a higher high so we've had a series of higher highs and a series of higher lows and that is a market in a uptrend any way you want to look at it as a technician the overall characteristics of a uh, higher trending market is a series of higher highs and higher lows so we are getting that so we have to put in the, into perspective the fact that we are selling off no doubt about that we've corrected now roughly 40, 50 points from the highs up at 91 to about 42. Also, I've got a moving average, it's a simple moving average that comes in right at this point at around 1140. So what are the key and critical areas that we're looking at? Well, my sense is once we broke through the 38% retracement point, and I believe that that was a important level that's right up here at 1145 the next real level we want to look at is a 50 percent retracement and that's this price point at around 1131 if you recall from yesterday's show there are a couple of harmonics that we find within this level so we want to see how the market reacts right in this area it's going to close slightly above the 50 day but if we get any kind of a break or a continuation of this downtrend and based upon the Japanese average chart that we just looked at moments ago, we do not see the trend, the downside trend weakening just yet. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw this market trade as low as approximately 1130 and that's the point we would look to enter from the long side. So traders to summarize our current forecast in the market we are still knee deep in a corrective period however the grain of salt and really the underlying characteristics of these markets right now is that in my belief we have hit a cycle bottom and that is when this market traded to these lows at around 1171 that's the lowest low that we've seen since gold traded to a high above 1900 I do believe that that completed our major fourth which is most important these are the subsets behind it but if in fact we've completed a major fourth we've got waves three wave four and we are now entering wave five now i'm not looking at gold to move higher overnight and it will have many peaks and valleys however the underlying key is after really having the last couple of years have such a heavy weight on gold prices it will be really nice to see a recovery and a return to some of the former prices now what specifically do we need to see to absolutely confirm this well we've got to start taking out certain highs this high right in here comes in just at around what 1220 1230 and most importantly is this one at 1300 that is one of my reasons that i believe we will see gold by mid 2016 trade to 1300 that was the high that we hit the cycle high that we hit at the beginning of this year and if we look at the beginning of this year if we look at the beginning of 2014 we had a cycle up of course 2013 was absolutely a different uh, character altogether we started at 1500 we concluded at you know below 1200 but typically you will see at the beginning of the year prices spike you can see that here you can see that here here 
You can also see that here. You can see that here. And so my sense is that I'm not convinced right now that we'll see the market move to, I'm, I was thinking maybe 1200. It really depends how deep this corrective wave goes by the end of this year. But I still adamantly believe that we will see 1280, $1,300 gold by mid 2016. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We'll talk to you on Monday for another daily update and review. 